do like the credit card companies, you know. If you want some money, just, you know, you guys get together and start um, loaning people money and charge them an arm and a leg, you know, for interest rates. You know, those are real thieves. And they getting rich and it's legal. You know, so even being a doctor, you know, you know how to kill, you learn to kill. You learn to save life, but at the same life, you got to kill something. Something has to be dead first before, you know, you can actually bring it back to life or something. You got to kill something. So what I'm saying is, is that the things that you're doing is not much different than what these professionals doing. The only thing is they have vast, vast knowledge of this stuff and they're doing it legally. Okay. And you probably don't have this knowledge. You're doing it illegally. Okay. Oh man, I went over time. Oh man. Okay, I'll try. Oh man, I hate when I do that. Okay, and so uh, that's all I'm saying. You know, um, another thing is is that a lot of us, you know, we're hanging out on the streets, doing nothing, and it's okay to hang out on the streets. But what you might want to start doing is start hitting these books. You know, sitting in the house a little more. And, you know, you sit in the house, of course, it's going to get boring. But, you know, it's going to get boring. Boring. But if you start doing things that you enjoy and stay off the streets more and more and more. Because it usually is the night that's the guys that's going to college, hanging out with his thug friends or whatever. And it's the nice guys that's getting all shot up, you know, by the cops and, you know, all this stuff. Because the cops will tell the thug something to do and they might run, they might run, but they know they know what's going on, but somebody that's new get all panic and might make a mistake and do something to shot cops or, you know, shoot him because they think he a thug and like, like, I read something about some college football player got shot by these cops, you know, because, you know, and they could be lying, they could be lying too, you know, but uh, they could be lying, but the whole thing is, it seems like a lot of these young good guys are getting, or these guys are trying to educate themselves are the ones that get shot up and stuff like that um, by the cops are getting these accidents and then these cops, you know, because they, you know, they protect themselves. So unless you're black, then, you know, <laughs> they might not protect you. But still, you know, all I'm saying is what you do is just try to develop another habit. And the habit that you develop should be something that's not going to always expose you to danger, but expose you to knowledge or to bettering yourself as a person as an individual as a father as a brother or you know a neighborhood uh, a leader and things like that because there are a lot of things out there that you can do to better yourself and then when you're hanging out in the neighborhoods now i don't know how the south is or nothing but i know in la you know i used to um if I wasn't hanging out with my friends, hanging out in Venice and stuff, I was always in Beverly Hills or always out in um, Compton or over in uh, by Manual Arts off of South Central LA. Or when I had my car, you know, I was, you know, hitting the beaches, Laguna, not Laguna, I wasn't going that far, but Newport Beach, you know, Hermosa Beach, Venice Redondo. Zill, um, Zill Beach, Marina, uh, Marina Del, not Marina Del, yeah, Marina Del Rey, Malibu, you know, go up to Pepperdine University when it was off the coast, and, you know, and I was, I was, I was everywhere, you know, especially when I had my car, you know, I was, um, San Diego, you know, San Bernardino up at, uh, I think it was Norton Air Force Base, go to George Air Force Base, I was out everywhere, and I met a lot of people, and, when you get out of the neighborhood and you're in another neighborhood, a lot of people, well, I don't know nowadays, you know, like I said, you know, like sometimes, like I I went to um, East LA, you know, where the Mexicans and stuff live over there and got lost up in Eagle Rock or over there by where the, um, where you can see the Dodgers Stadium from up in the, up in the hills and stuff. And I got lost and I kept doing these U-turns and trying to get out. You know, I was like, oh, man, I'm going to get shot, I'm going to get shot. You know, but nothing didn't happen because I was over there during the daytime. And evidently, you know, I don't know what was going on. People were at war or whatever, but nobody was out on the streets, you know. So I was kind of like, okay. And I kept going by some park or something like that. And then I went to Eagle Rock, 
to a mall out there and just to check it out, you know. And you know, back then, you know, it wasn't so it wasn't so bad, you know. So I guess nowadays it's bad. I don't know. But if it's bad, you know, then that's even a better reason just to stay home and educate yourself, you know. A lot of it, like I said, you know, I keep talking about this math thing, but math is so, so easy. Okay, like, I might be wrong, but, you know, I, I think, because I didn't go study this stuff, so I'm just thinking what it is. I just used my fingers, I just thought about it. But anyway, you know, like, when you talk about uh, math, right, okay, so you got this straight line, okay, so of course, you know, um, you use it on a coordinate, uh, is coordinate scale or something like that, I forgot what it's called. But, you know, you get a straight line, you know, and it's just, you know, two inches, two inches, you know. And then if you put it on a, uh, a scale, I mean on a, on a graph or something, you know, then the origin would be zero, zero, x, y, uh, y x being horizontal, laying flat, standing up is um, vertical, right? And then you had this line, you know, on the ground. So then that ground is going to be zero two. So the um is going to be um that uh not the ground, but the ground is going to be how can I say that? The point you start the line at the point zero zero where you where you know x is zero, y is zero, you stare. And since it's a flat object and it's laying down, you know, it's a straight flat object. Then you're only going to go in one direction, which you let's say positive. Let's say it's about six, seven inches. So you go that way, and the graph of that would just be uh, what was it? X Y X Y. So it'd be six zero, which means you're going six units uh, horizontal and zero units vertical. Okay. And then let's say like if you have another vertical, a vertical. Uh, Another vertical line. Oh, okay, I'll use uh, five. It'd be easy. So, uh, no, 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 four. It'd be like four inches. Okay, so it'd be zero four. And then you have this other, this other line, and it'll be vertical. And you stand it up at the end of the uh, four zero. Okay, so then at that point, you have a line. It'll be like. Well, anyway. You have a vertical line of um, three units, or whatever. Okay, and then you'll take the uh, the um, is that right? Yeah. Okay. And then you'll uh, uh, okay. And then you'll um, draw a line from the um, the origin to the top of the um, vertical line at three and then three units or whatever and so you want to know the length of that of that <clears throat> uh, that diagonal line which I which I forgot what it's called dang it's so stupid uh, what is it called the tangent I think it's is it the tangent the radius okay and um, so you want to know what that line is the length of it but see what it is though is if you take the line if you take, let's say like, okay, let me start, it. Oh, okay, I'll just continue, anyway. So anyway, let's say you're going, you have a line that's a length of four inches and you have a vertical line going up three inches, right? And then you wanna go from the vertical line, the beginning of the vertical line to the end of the, uh, I mean the beginning of the uh, horizontal line to the beginning of the uh, vertical line, you wanna know that measurement, right? But because you don't know how to, or because you know it's kind of like difficult to measure in an angle like that, because you don't know, then well, no, you can do it because if you know the um, a squared plus b squared plus c squared, then you know that three squared plus four squared is going to equal to twenty-five, and then that um, the uh, square root of that is going to be five. So the length of that line is going to be five. But let's say if you don't, let's say, okay, you do know that, but if you want to use the angles to do it, then <clears throat> you'll have to say, well, okay, at the angle where the, um, where the, uh, that radius or, you know, the nothing, um, ABC, the longest line and the uh, vertical line in the, uh, 
not the vertical, the horizontal line and the diagonal line, there's going to be an angle 